वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट इन द वेरी फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ पॉलिटिकल साइंस दैट इज पोस्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर पॉलिटिकल डेवलपमेंट्स चिल्ड्रेन बिफोर वी स्टार्ट द लेसन लेट इज डिस्कस द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड द की वर्ड्स ऑफ द गिविंग चैप्टर इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द चैप्टर इंटर डिपेंडेंस international relations through foreign policy background of the world first world war second world war its causes and effects so children let's begin the chapter children in the civics textbook till now we have studied local self government institutions indian constitutions and our political system or governmental structures in this class we are going to study india's relation with the world you must have understood the world geography through the study of geography you have become familiar with the global historical events through the study of history now through the study of political science we are going to study india's relation with the world and some major global issues children we are dependent on different persons institutions and organizations in the society for different reasons and for different facilities our social life is interdependent and mutual cooperation has very important place in it children just as it is true about individuals and society it appears to different nations as well there are many independent nation in the world like india some exchange and interactions goes on between them constantly this independent state also enters into treaties with each other a system of all this independent sovereign state comes up we call it international system let us get to know some features of this international system interdependence all the countries of the world depends on each other irrespective of their size and status this is called as interdependence any nation can never be self sufficient about its needs prosperous and developed nations to have to depend on other big or small nations interdependence is an integral part of today's international system that is today's global system children let us discuss the given activity that is i wonder Question number 1 What is the difference between interdependence between individuals and that between nations Answer For multiple reasons individuals are mutually interdependent on each other and on different institution in the society Nations on the other hand sign treaties with each other there is continuous exchange of informations and bilateral transactions taking place between nations thus we can say the interdependency of individuals is on a social level while that between the nations is on an international level is there such a division like rich country and poor countries answer yes there is a division like rich countries and poor countries this division should be based on 
the country's standard of living the forms of employments the level of development etc question number 3 just as a country is governed by a constitution is there some kind of constitution at global level answer yes just as a country is governed by a constitution nations at a global level are governed by the charter of the united nations it is intended to be facilitate smooth functioning of the international operations and maintaining peace on a global level just like a constitution the charter of the united nation also has chapters articles and provisions for amendments also the task of making international laws is done by international court of justice which falls under the united nations children let's proceed to the next question that is who enjoys the supreme position in an international system so the answer is in an international system the supreme position is enjoyed by the united nations children let's come to the another sub topic that is international relation through foreign policy international relation through foreign policy every nation has policies about its internal dealings as also about its relation with other nations such policies is called as foreign policy we are going to study india's foreign policy in detail in the next chapter background the world in which we live today has been shaped through many events and developments hence we need to go back to history in order to understand today's world we know that two world war were fought in the last century these were the most important events in the world in that century the world completely changed because of them new currents of thought emerged let us understand what else happened due to these world wars world war first world war first is also known as the first world war or the great war it was a global war centered in europe that began on 28th july 1914 and lasted until 11th november 1918 The war exactly took four years, three months, and fourteen days to end. In this war, one thirty-five countries took part, and more than fifteen million people died. World War First was a military conflict which involved nearly all the biggest power of the world. It involved two opposite alliances, that is. the allied power and the central power the countries of allied power includes russia france british empire italy united states japan romania serbia belgium greece portugal and montenegro the countries of the central power included Germany, Australia, Hungary, Ottoman Empire and Bulgaria. Children, let us understand the political impact of the First World War. At the end of the First World War, all the nations felt that such a war should not happen again and some major actions need to be taken to avoid such end. an international organization called the league of nations was established out of this thinking it became an important platform to solve international disputes and carry out negotiations 
द मेन रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द लीग ऑफ नेशंस वॉज टू अवॉइड वॉर आफ्टर द फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर मेजर चेंजेस केम अबाउट इन यूरोप एंड आउटसाइड यूरोप फॉर एग्जाम्पल अर्लियर एम्पायर्स इन यूरोप को लैब्सड एंड न्यू नेशन केम इन टू दोर्स मेनी यूरोपियन कंट्रीज हैड दियर कॉलोनीज इन द कॉन्टिनेंट ऑफ एफ्रीका एंड एशिया मूवमेंट फॉर इंडिपेंडेंस स्टार्टेड इन दिस कॉलोनीज दिस मूवमेंट चैलेंज द हेजमनी ऑफ यूरोपियन नेशंस लीग ऑफ नेशंस वॉज एस्टैब्लिश आफ्टर द फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर टू स्टैब्लिश पीस इन द वर्ल्ड बट इट डिड नॉट सक्सीडेड एट प्रिवेंटिंग वॉर ऑटोक्रेटिक रीजन्स केम अप इन जर्मनी इटली एंड स्पेन एज वेल एज इन सम ऑफ द अदर कंट्रीज ऑल दिस डेवलपमेंट कलमिनेटेड इन टू सेकेंड वर्ल्ड वॉर चिल्ड्रेन लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड द इकनॉमिक इम्पैक्ट ऑफ द फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर The First World War was fought between 1914 till 1918. Major countries of Europe took part in it. Europe had a very central place in the international or global system at that time. The war caused a tremendous loss of life and property. The countries which joined the war suffered tremendous economic losses. even the countries which did not join the war were impacted by the war the the economies of the victorious as well as the losing countries collapsed student let us do the given activity think and write the autocratic dictatorial regime of hitler came up in germany what would have happened had the democratic traditions been strong in germany what precautions should be taken in order to prevent the rise of autocratic regimes answer after the first world war the german chancellor surrendered his empire thereafter in november 1918 a democratic rule emerged in germany it gave the people of germany a right to vote however during this period the great economic depression hit europe and worsed people's life the democratic government of germany failed to recover the economic from this crisis this failure of the democratic government created anger among the people against the government hitler took advantage of this anger and rose his power had the democratic traditions been strong in germany a dictator like hitler would not been created in order to prevent the rise of such autocratic regimes one should respect and follow the provisions specified in the constitution while enjoying one's right one must also discharge one's constitutional duties the league of nations the league of nations was an organization for international cooperation It was established on 10th January 1920 at the initiative of victorious allied powers at the end of first world war. It was formally disbanded on 19th April 1946. Although it was unable to fulfill the hopes of its founders. Its creation was an event of decisive importance in the history of international relations 
children let us discuss the next activity that is what is your opinion the league of nations was established to prevent war but it failed to avoid war what measures should the league have taken to prevent the war answer in my opinion the league should have taken the following measures in order to prevent the world war 2 that is the league of nations should have taken up seriously the urgent issues like the rise of extreme nationalist sentiments in europe and should have taken strict action in order to stop the same it should have created trust within the nations about the necessity of mutual cooperation it should have tried to retain the members like japan germany italy and soviet union it should have made effort to make a superpower like america a member of the league due to a complete lack of active participation from these countries toward the objectives of league there arose a question of regional security the league should have also increased its military strength in order to take a strict action against the nation who violated the various treaties all in all the efforts in direction of unifying the different countries of the world and creating an atmosphere of mutual cooperation and peaceful relations among them where the majors of league of nations should have taken to prevent the world war 2 second world war second world war was fought between 1939 and 1945 it proved to be far more destructive than the first world war not only it was more wide spread compared to the first world war but also more advanced technology was employed in this war countries which took part in the second world war once again faced a situation of economic crisis it involved two opposite alliances such as allied power and axis power allied power deals with the countries such as britain france australia canada new zealand india soviet union china and america whereas axis power deals with germany japan and italy America played a major role in the Second World War. It had manufactured nuclear weapons in order to end the war. America dropped two nuclear weapons on two cities of Japan, that is Hiroshima and Nagasaki, on 6th and 9th August 1945 respectively. The Second World War ended with the defeat of Germany in Europe. and of japan in asia many events that took place in the world after the second world war was the beginning of the cold war 1945 to 1991 is the long period of the cold war children let's do the given activity that is let's write The Second World War was fought between 1939 and 1945. What events were unfolding in India during this period? Answer: During the period 1939 to 1945, the following events were unfolding in India, such as in 1939, Subhash Chandra Bose founded the Forward Bloc. In the year 1940, Vinoba Bhave started Individual Satyagraha. In 1942, Stafford Cripps presented a scheme before Indian leaders, according to which the British government would grant full dominion status to India in return of their cooperation during in the World War Two. 
On 9th August 1942, the Quit India Movement was launched under the leadership of Mahatma Gandhi. On 14th June 1945, Governor General Lord Wavell announced the Wavell Plan. Children, you can also write some other events that may or have occurred during this period. Children, let's come to the next question that is, what was the effect of the Second World War on India? Answer, the Second World War affected India in the following manner. That is, in 1939, the British government announced that India would participate in the Second World War along with the England. However, this was done without the consent of the Indians. Hence, they protested against this announcement. Gandhiji guided Indians on the path of individual satyagraha in order to protest in a peaceful and a non-violent manner. The political parties had declined the scheme put forth by Lord Cripps. Also, the British government was engaged in the war. Hence, there was no hope that any political development would take place in India during this period. During this period, Gandhiji launched Quit India Movement. This movement was not successful. However, it conveyed to the British government the discontent among the Indians. This paved the way for India's independence. Children, let us understand the political impact of the Second World War. During the time of Second World War, America and Soviet Union emerged as two superpowers and the power struggle between them led to Cold War. Military organizations like NATO and Warsaw Pact emerged leading to bipolarization of the world. The word biopolarization means a division of the nation of the world into groups. Asian and African countries became independent from the colonial rules. Children, let us understand the economic impact of the Second World War. The Second World War ended with the defeat of Germany in Europe and of Japan in Asia. America emerged as a world superpower. The Second World War was more destructive than the First World War. International organizations established after the war like United Nations, NATO, Warsaw, ASEAN, that is Association of South East Asian Nations. Children, I hope that this video help you all to understand the lesson better. Children, kindly read the textbook thoroughly and write down the causes and impact of the World War First and Second. We will meet again in the next module. Till then, take care of yourself and enjoy learning.